everyone, I'm Vicki Murphy with Valiantis, and in this video, I'll be giving an overview and a demonstration of Atlassian Analytics. Atlassian Analytics is a data analysis and visualization tool created by Atlassian and is embedded directly in the Atlassian Cloud Platform. Designed to be a low-code, no-code reporting solution, Analytics is intended to help customers break down silos by bringing data of teams all across your organization into one place, help you make better decisions faster with real-time holistic data, and streamline the communication of reports across your organization through standardization of reports, subscriptions, and leveraging the connectivity Atlassian Analytics has with other Atlassian products. Atlassian Analytics is able to bring together data from your Atlassian platform through the power of the Atlassian Data Lake. This data lake connect, collects the raw data from your Atlassian tools, including JIRA, JIRA Service Management, including assets, JIRA Product Discovery, Confluence, and OpsGenie, and transforms that data to be available for analysis and display in Atlassian Analytics. Additionally, if you have JIRA Align, you can connect your JIRA Align data into Atlassian Analytics through the Enterprise Insights uh, data lake, which is specific to um, uh, JIRA Align. The Atlassian data lake also includes connectors to standard databases and allows you to connect to tools such as Amazon RDS, Google Cloud, Microsoft Azure, Databrisk, and more. This allows you to combine and cross-reference data all across your organization in one place. Additionally, the Atlassian Data Lake can also be connected to reporting tools your organization may already leverage through the data shares functionality. Using the Databricks Delta Sharing Protocol, you can connect the Atlassian Data Lake to your external tools such as Power BI or Tableau. This is currently possible for JIRA, JIRA Product Discovery, and JIRA Service Management data, and Atlassian does plan to expand this functionality to other Atlassian products in the future. Currently, the Atlassian Data Lake does not collect marketplace app data, but there are solutions to export such data into an external database to analyze into Atlassian Analytics. A couple of analytics quick facts. Um, Atlassian Analytics is available on Atlassian's cloud platform for customers at the enterprise licensing tier. To access analytics, users will need an Atlassian account, but analytics does have its own permissions set to allow for easy administration and to allow stakeholders and executives easy visualization of the data when they may not be in the weeds of your other Atlassian products. This also means that you can grant access to analytics to as many or as few of your Atlassian users as you wish. And finally, you can leverage additional visualization options with the exportability and the out-of-the-box connectivity between Analytics and Confluence, which we'll take a look at in just a moment. With that, let's go ahead and jump into an Analytics environment and take a look at some of this functionality firsthand. Here I am in my Atlassian environment, but you'll notice I am currently in JIRA, and what I want to first show is how quick and easy it is for users to navigate over to Atlassian Analytics by going up to their app switcher and just clicking on Analytics here. Again, this is a product that is embedded in Atlassian's cloud platform. Once we're in Analytics, we'll see a look and a feel and an easy user navigation that we're familiar with from our other Atlassian cloud products. Um, within analytics, the main thing we are creating are dashboards, and then we can create charts to go on those dashboards. So when it comes to navigating, we really just have this homepage where we will see the list of dashboards we have access to view. We have search and filtering capabilities, the ability to favorite a dashboard and filter down uh, to our favorites for easy navigation. We can sort our list, and we also have a couple of different visualization options of this homepage. When it comes to creating a dashboard, we can do that with the click of just a few buttons. I'm gonna click Create Dashboard here. We can start from scratch if we have a completely custom uh, dashboard we want to build. But what is also incredibly powerful, um, and we have seen solve a high percentage of the reporting needs of our customers, are the out-of-the-box templates that Atlassian provides. Here we will find dozens of templated options, and we can even filter down to view templates for specific products we have connected into analytics. 
Atlassian continues to add to these templates very frequently, and you'll find everything from templates intended for um, a very specific process or for drilling into a specific team's data to overview dashboards intending for us to bring data of multiple teams and multiple projects um, together. Once you make your selection, we just press create and it takes just about a minute or two for that to spin up um, and load. And then we will have a fully functioning dashboard. Once we have our dashboard spun up, it will look a little something like this. Each dashboard is going to have its own uh, variation of charts. Um, and at the top of most of them, what you will see is a group of filters. These are what we call controls. They can be added to an entire dashboard or to a specific chart. What this allows you to do is uh, allow each user to apply their own context to view the data that is valuable to them. We have seen this really be a way for us to cut down on the number of dashboards a customer may create and more uh, standardize the reporting for a group of teams or a department um, because each user can come into the same dashboard as others, but set their own context. As we scroll through here, we'll see a variety of charts that have spun up. We'll see even more controls available here, some quick statistics even, and you'll also notice several of these little cards. These are just telling us um, what is intended with this chart or even this dashboard as a whole. Several of the templated dashboards will have this information. It can be edited or you can add your own information in um, to customize the content for you. You can even add in images and links with this uh, functionality uh, to really make this a powerful hub of information. What also makes uh, uh, this uh, interpreting these dashboards easy is the connectivity with Atlassian Intelligence. On each chart, uh, if you have Atlassian Intelligence enabled, you can click on the Insights button. And this gives you a plain text summary of the chart, making it really quick and easy to interpret our information here. What is also very powerful uh, uh, with these templates is the ability to further customize them if needed. Many of the templates may work really great for you as a starting place, and then with a couple of tweaks, be perfect for your context. On any uh, chart, we can go into the chart editor here. And what we will see is all of the inputs to build this chart. In the top left, we will see our query. We can click in to edit this. What we are currently viewing is what we call the Visual SQL function, and that is really intended to be um, a very point and click, user friendly, no code option to building these queries for users who don't have any SQL background. Here we can choose what data we are bringing in, how we want to filter that data, and then we'll talk about the more actions we can take in just a moment. If you are someone who is familiar with SQL and prefer that, you can uh, toggle over to the SQL. All charts uh, or all queries are built off of SQL Lite. So even if you build it in visual mode, you can see the SQL query behind it here. Or again, if you're familiar with SQL, you can start by just building your own SQL query. There's also Atlassian Intelligence here where you can type in what you want this to show you, um, and then it will output a SQL query for you. After we build our query, we can see the results here in the results table, and then we can start to take further actions. With our templated charts um, from our dashboards, we will have many actions already taken until we get to the bottom and we see that final output. We can copy, edit, or delete any of these actions or add in our own, again, using the visual SQL functions right here in this editor bar. In the top right, we will see our chart preview where we can uh, uh, toggle between the different chart options until we find the one that works best with our data and for our audience. And once we're done, we can simply save this to our dashboard or even save it to a different dashboard if we need to copy it somewhere else. Once we have our dashboards created, we are able to easily share them with other users. We do have permissions at the dashboard level. It's very akin to uh, sharing a filter or a, a page over in um, Jira or Confluence. Also, if we are needing to send this dashboard to someone on a weekly or monthly basis, we can add in a subscription to uh, that is time to send to a specific list of users that can provide a PDF, CSV, or both uh, exports of this dashboard. 
We can also uh, export this dashboard as a PDF or CSV at any time, and even individual charts can be exported, again, as a uh, PDF or CSV, but also as a PNG or SVG file if you're needing to embed this in something like a PowerPoint. What is also very powerful is if you want uh, to embed a chart or even the entire dashboard into a Confluence page wh where you might be providing more context or more information, you can. We just simply collect the link of the dashboard itself or an individual chart, jump over to Confluence. Here we will paste our link. We uh, can also uh, choose how we embed it to even visualize it directly within the page. Back in analytics, let's take a quick look at our uh, data connections. Again, when we talk about data sources, we have these third-party data sources currently available, or we can connect to the Atlassian data lake. Out of the box, you have 10 connections to your Atlassian data lake. And you may want to create multiple connections because if we click in here, um, and go to access, it's really important to know that access to data in Atlassian Analytics is set based on uh, the data connection. Um, and so for each connection that we make, we can control who can actually uh, query the data for that. Analytics does not uh, follow the permissions of your other Atlassian tools, and that is an, a, a decision that was made to make the administration of analytics quite easy. It means that you can add stakeholders or executives who likely aren't in the weeds in your other Atlassian products into uh, Atlassian analytics without having to set them up with a ton of project or space permissions. It does mean that as admins, we need to be aware that if we have any sensitive data over in any of our other Atlassian products, we want to make a unique uh, data connection for that and control who can query against that data, um, where we may all have more transparent data that is in a broader uh, access connection. Within each connection, we can set the scope, we can choose uh, our specific site, our specific products, and even our specific projects or schema that are brought into that connection. And we can also go even deeper um, and choose what data is available in, uh, in those connections as well. From there, we have a query log, uh, uh, queries and change history for each connection as well. And that sums up the overview of Atlassian Analytics. Thank you very much.